Hello, welcome to the Open Textbook Network's Data Dashboard. The Data Dashboard can help you do four key things for your Open Textbook Workshop. One, set up a workshop, including an optional registration page. Two, manage workshop registration. Three, take workshop attendance and communicate with workshop attendees. And four, track your programmatic data for measuring and reporting impact. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up an open textbook workshop and create an optional registration page. Okay, so let's get started. When you log into the dashboard, you'll land on the page we're looking at now called your institutional dashboard. From here, click on the purple button in the top right of the screen to create a new workshop. If you're part of a system or consortia, you will see a drop down menu so that you can select the institution where the workshop will be held. Or if the workshop will include faculty from multiple institutions, you can select multiple institutions. Okay, enter your workshop name. Superstar workshop. Enter the workshop location. And so on. And then be sure to edit the description if you need to. For example, you want to be sure that the stipend information that appears here is accurate for your workshop. Okay. After you have done all that, you will want to edit your workshop date, start and end time, and your appropriate time zone. Now, you can set up a workshop for a future date or a past date, depending on your needs. For our example, we're going to set up a future workshop. It is going to be on Monday, December 31st, because what better way to celebrate the new year? It's going to start at 8 a.m., end at 11 a.m., and this is happening in Minneapolis, which is central time. Okay. Now we want to decide when to close workshop registration. That's here in the workshop deadline box. This could be a week before or the day of your workshop. It is up to you, but please note that after this date, people can no longer register for the workshop. I'm going to give people a lot of time they can register on the date that the workshop will be held. Now here you can be notified when registrations reach a certain number. This can help with room capacity considerations. So for example, the room that I have reserved can fit about 25. So let me know when 22 people have registered. Okay, next up, we need to set our review deadline. The system will no longer accept reviews after the date that you enter here. Now, we recommend allowing for about six weeks from the date of the workshop, and the system will send reminders for you, but that is up to you. I'm going to go ahead and go with that six weeks and pick hmm, February 18th. And finally on this page, if you would like to collect people's home addresses during the survey phase after the workshop, you can tick this box. Now this is rarely used, but it can be useful if you plan to send the faculty stipend checks directly to faculty homes instead of through the institution's payroll system. So I'm not going to tick that box, but I am going to create the workshop by clicking on this purple button at the bottom of the page. Voila, you have set up a workshop. You are now back at your institutional dashboard. Now, because we scheduled a workshop for the future, we see it listed here under upcoming. If we had scheduled a workshop that had already been held, we would see it listed below in completed. Now, You'll notice a few buttons over here in the right column associated with your workshop. You can add registrants, you can edit workshop info, you can copy URL, which is referring to the registration page we just created, and you can close registration. We're gonna cover all of these buttons in more detail in the next video. For now, what we wanna do is focus on this one button that says copy URL. I've clicked that button. Now I'm going to open a new tab in my browser. I'm pasting that URL 
for Superstar Workshop. And let's take a look at our registration page. Looks pretty good. Here's all the information we entered. I'm just going to make sure it's appearing as I want it to. And down here is where faculty can register. So now what you can do is go to your email client, draft a message, and paste this URL into that email. People can then register for the Open Textbook Workshop using this registration page. So now that we've created a workshop and a registration page, we're ready to talk about how to add registrants, edit information, and close registration in our second video.